Well, it's the weekend. Welcome. You're at home with Gary Sullivan as we continue our broadcast here from the uh, National Hardware Show. And uh, we are broadcasting from the Wet and Forget booth. And uh, very honored that they are hosting our trip here and bringing you lots of great products. That's what we're trying to do, make those home improvement projects go just a little bit easier. Well, you may know my next guest. He, he's got a crown on. He's got uh, he's, he's a working man. He's, did you get any, you know, working hands? I mean, that, that stuff is good stuff. Do you ever use that? Working hands. Yeah, yeah. you ever use yeah. that? Yeah, that's Have good you? stuff. It's yeah. great stuff yeah. because he is a working man. He owns a company called Rick's Restoration in Las Vegas. And, of course, you know him. For five years he's been doing a host of uh, American Restoration on the History Channel. And uh, Rick Dale, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Man. <laughs> I'm at home, hardware. You're <laughs> That's what I keep saying, man. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. I mean, the Channel Lock people are bringing the yeah. stuff over. The Rockwell people, they're showing me. Wet and forget they're going to spray me down when I leave because I'm getting kind of moldy. <laughs> but there's a lot of stuff going on here yeah. at the hardware show. Yeah. In your business, how long have you been doing Rick's Restoration? Um, I've been doing business since 83, so it's like 32 Two to two, 32 years? It's a long time, Long man. time. So long, I You're can't almost remember as old as me. Yeah. <laughs> no, a long time. And uh, it's been a struggle, you know? So it's a, you know, because you're doing, you know, weird stuff, and you never know what's coming in the door next. Dude, you do weird stuff. I do weird you stuff. Do, you restore trains. Yeah. Like, like well, where'd you get that idea? Well, somebody <laughs> dropped it off. And so you had to do it? Well, I didn't have to do it, but I have a really hard time saying no. no. <laughs> You're that guy. You're that, that guy. guy. You're yeah. the, tell me some of the strangest things you restored in. Um, strangest. I did. A uh, guy came in, had a had a hood scoop, and he wanted to make it into an urn for his father that just died. He wanted to be buried. That was the strangest thing. Or cremated, I shouldn't say. <laughs> that, he wanted to bury him in his car. His dad wanted to be buried in his car, and he couldn't do that. So he said he took the you know the blower hood scoop off the yeah. top of it. We cut it all up, made chambers inside of it, made it to where it wouldn't leak, you know, leak him out. Oh, my and, gosh. But he came in. I went, I dropped my jaw. I said, what? You want to do what? what? You want to do what? <laughs> and then you said, I can do that. Yeah, I, I can, can do, that. do that. I can do that. So, so you're messing with some stuff that's old. Yeah. That's rusted, that's beat up, yeah. that's a mess. Yeah, what happens, people come in with their prized possession, something that was in their family for years, handed down, and it's been, you know, dilapidated, it doesn't work anymore, it doesn't look good anymore, and they want to get it restored. So that's what we do. And the, the emotion that goes through that process right. is what drives me anymore. Now, I've been doing it a long time, right. and I sort of got burnt out. I, I'm just painting and making things you know look nice and selling them who cares um but i uh what happened when the show came out is it really got my personal. heart going on it, it really personal. got personal it and personal. and i really love what i do and i realize that my passion i got some serious passion for yeah. what i do yeah I good do. for you yeah because you wouldn't be doing it if you didn't have passion right. no. i'm the same way i love doing no. the show. i'm that way period yeah and whatever i do i gotta love what i do or i don't do good it for but you i've been stuck doing this one for 32 years <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> Rick Dale, he's my guest, and you've taken apart a, a lot of stuff, as I have. I'm in no way on your level of taking stuff apart. But what kind of brings us together today is you use blaster products. Yeah, blaster. And, and um, you made a comment right away. There's such a difference on really great stuff and yeah. not so great stuff. Yeah, because, you know, as you're going in business, you can't go out, you can't afford to go out and find the right stuff, but you're always searching for right. that one product that will allow you to do your job easier and correctly. Sure. You know? You're not busting nuts off or heating them with a torch or doing all that stuff, and all we deal with is rusty nuts. Otherwise, so, it wouldn't have to be restored. Right, right. right. <laughs> and what better, uh, I mean, I thought it was awesome when we got together with Blaster because what goes better th with rusty nuts than Blaster? That's exactly the you PB know? Blaster. I've been yeah. talking about it now for a year. Yeah. Uh, David Pate, he's with me. He's with Blaster. And the PB Blaster, uh, you know, it's been around a long time. It's created a resurgence once, I don't know, words getting out. People right. start working on it like, like, like Rick here and... Um, what makes that PB blaster work? Because there's a lot of other stuff that 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 doesn't work. I want to know that right yeah. now. <laughs> you want to know the chemical he's gonna, background? He's going to probably have to kill us <laughs> when he tells us. But that's all right. It's a it's a true penetrant, Gary. Um, it's not like some of the other products we talk about using right. the right product for the right application. Absolutely. And PB blaster has been known. It was invented 
to be a true penetrant. It has very little lubrication properties. Mm -hmm. It gets into where it needs to work. It, it's a bit of an exaggeration, but it liquefies rust. And to add to what Rick was saying, it allows you to take off rusty nuts and bolts without breaking them, which creates a whole nother uh, uh, headache. Yeah. You got to use a lot of this stuff. Yes, absolutely. I mean, everything's yeah, everything's rusted and everything breaks. And you know, back thir thirty years ago when I was doing it, I would the guys would tear something apart, they'd break a bolt off, and they would forget to tap it out. It'd go through the line, it'd get bodied. It's going into paint now. It's coming back to assembly, and now they got to drill it out. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, oh right. my god! Now we're gonna get now. Here's a scratch, and we got to do it over yeah. again. So it's very important to get everything else nice and clean. So, so the penetrant, you use, you use any of the other products? Yeah, we use the, the, the all-purpose lubricant, um, okay. the corrosion. Uh, corrosion stop. Corrosion stop. We well, use tell that. me a little bit about that. I, I haven't used that one. The corrosion stops are because product. Because I'm not restoring trains. Right. <laughs> the, <laughs> the corrosion uh, corrosion stops a product that will prevent any future corrosion on anything that you may ha be storing okay. for a period of time. Okay. Um, so I should spray that on the cable of my lawnmower because that's as adventurous <laughs> as I get. No. We we have a new product, Gary. That's chain and cable loop. Yeah. That's a product yeah. that you would yeah. want to use on your yeah. lawnmower. Yeah. We just we'll answer talk for after. everything. We'll you talk after the show. No, no wonder you're so. Good, they have right? the one. You have the one that we use on the small engines too. The 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 lube or the, the lawnmower tuna. Tuna. Yeah. And uh, because what happens is we do all these old boat motors, uh, Evan Rude inboard outboard, and they get all that uh, corrosion on them. The carbon. So yeah. So we're always using that stuff to on every single piece I and mean, we've got cans of it everywhere i'll bet you do cans of it everywhere you and gotta keep sending it yeah to them, we you? do gary well, it to them. we they do. do they keep do this guy busy he's got a lot of energy i got a lot of rusty nuts <laughs> you sure do there's a couple other parts that are rusty too <laughs> david doesn't have that lubricant uh, yeah. no, exactly. yeah. <laughs> i don't know they're getting into everything I, you never I, know I, I hear you i'm right there with you so you spray the pb blaster on it the old rusted nuts and bolts how long do you let it sit before you can kind of break it free? Because the typical guy's going to spray it, and he's going to want to, uh, uh, and then he still screws it up. How long does it take to actually work? Again, the purpose of the PB Blaster, Gary, is to save time, energy, and money. Right. And if you know you're going to take something apart that's rusted and corroded, you want to spray it as far in advance as okay. you're going to start disassembling it cool. as you possibly can. Yeah. You know, if it's an hour, if you're going to spray it, working on in the morning, spray it on the night before, yeah. and let it soak because it's going to creep in. It has. It does. It gets right through it, all. It the gets all the crevices, and, and yeah. again, a yeah. bit of an exaggeration, but liquefies the rust for easy disassembly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rick Dale, he wants to fix and restore everything. That's his yeah. motto. You know what my motto is? What? I'm all about easy. I just want my <laughs> life to be easy. <laughs> if the stuff <laughs> is rusted, I want to spray it on, and I'll get to it in the morning. Right. So right. I'm all about easy. Yeah. No, it it depends on on how bad it is. Right. But. What we do, when we do just what he just said. We mm -hmm. take the piece. Uh, we know that we're taking apart the day, the next day, and we shoot it all over it. And then uh, the next, that next day, we take it apart. But there's been times where we get something small in, and you can actually use it, and it actually works. You know, within a couple hours. Right. Each application is different with how rusty your nuts are. Sure. Right. All right, David. Where do the people get Blaster products? Uh, Blaster is available in all the major um, uh, big box stores: Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, participating do it best ace okay. true value stores um, not hard to find not hard to find no you can not also go to blastercorp.com uh, and you can learn a little bit more about all the products uh, Rick Dale my pleasure to meet you, you too. try to stay you out of it. trouble oh. I don't know if you should live <laughs> in Vegas or not brother well, I've lived here a long time it's uh, safe it's safe it's All right. Safe. you just can't do that 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 or that <laughs> it stays in Vegas <laughs> and we're going to stay in Vegas our next segment we're going to talk about some generators as we continue at home with Gary Sullivan